We all know manufacturing can be both a rewarding career and also a very dangerous one. In fact, if you've been in this industry for any length of time, either you or somebody you're close with or maybe somebody you just heard about has probably been involved in either an accident or what we like to sometimes call a near miss, which is almost a really dangerous catastrophic incident. In fact, a good buddy of mine was involved in just such an occurrence when I happened to be out. My first daughter was born and so I was at the hospital and out for probably about a week and a half. We had a pretty hot job on my machine that had to get done so he had to go over and fill in for me. Now I had ran a CNC VTL or vertical turret lathe at the time and it had a 30 inch chuck so we put really big parts on there. Well, in order to machine those parts properly, it was a three-jaw chuck. We would take what we would call stilts, and we would slide them in these T-nut slots that were on the chuck, and there would be a T-nut uh, T -nut on one end and a hex bolt on the other, and this hex bolt would rest up against the part to provide support when we perform machining on these big, giant parts. And him, not really being familiar with the installation of these stilts, went over to run this job and just figured, you know, you kind of put them in there and you, you tighten them down and you're good to go. Well, there was a tiny little procedure or at least a bit of knowledge that he wasn't aware of, and that's you really had to make sure that these stilts were in line Line with the T-nut slots so when the chuck started to spin at a high rate of speed centrifugal force wouldn't pull it out it wouldn't spin it to the side and when he put them in he had them uh, put in there but he had them cocked sideways a little bit so that's exactly what happened it started to speed up it started to swing to the side it loosened one of the bolts and then from there they started to come out of the chuck when that chuck was moving at a very high rate of speed now the first one that came out actually hit the door and it put a dent. I remember coming back to work and seeing the dent was sticking out of the door and because this was an older machine there wasn't a door lock or any sort of safety interlock system it actually pushed the door open and the second one that came out actually smacked into a really a chest full of drawers that was standing right next to the machine. That's where you would normally stand when the machine was running. Now, luckily, my buddy had stepped aside for a second to go check on something else, so that missed him. The third jaw actually came out, or the third stilt actually came out and went flying across the shop. My buddy got really lucky that day. Those were really heavy stilts and they came out at a very high rate of speed. In fact, if he had been standing in the wrong position, it's very possible he could have lost his life that day. And that was really kind of a moment of reflection for him, for me, and really for the whole shop to really take a, a moment and think about proper procedure and safety protocols. It's the smallest thing that sometimes can be the difference between collecting a paycheck and uh, not going home. And this is something that we have to take serious, right? We have wives or husbands, you know, and sons and daughters and people that rely on us. And we want to make sure that if we're unclear about something, that we ask the right question. You know, it's cliche almost, but there are no stupid questions, especially in manufacturing. And we want to make sure that we're doing more than just hustling at work and making the company money. We want to make sure that we get home to those we love.